Hi, it's a pleasure to meet you. Today I'm going to take you through a grounding exercise to help you reconnect with yourself and the world around you. I'll have you observe yourself and your surroundings. I'll have you picture places and things and actions. And I will guide you as you notice thoughts and feelings and sensations in your body. By the end, I hope you feel more connected to yourself and to the place you're in. But it's important that you don't pressure yourself to feel any specific way. Right now, all you need to do is observe the feelings you have, no matter what that feeling is. By the end, I hope you're more relaxed, less anxious, more connected to the natural order of things. You can feel free to relax as much as you possibly can, and it's okay if you fall asleep. There are no rules here, just suggestions that you can choose to take. During this exercise, do not pressure yourself and do not pass judgment on yourself. You'll likely have a wandering mind, and it might even wander a whole lot, and you might feel like that's a failure of you or the meditation. But if you notice yourself drifting or notice yourself judging, that's only a reason to refocus on my words. Let me guide you through the process. Let me carry some of your weight. And let's begin. If you aren't already in one, find a comfortable spot to sit or lie down. You should be able to remain in this spot for the next little while as you meditate, so make sure you're somewhere calm, peaceful, cozy, and in a space where you won't be interrupted. Don't close your eyes just yet, or if you have closed them, gently reopen them as you take a look at where you are and how you fit into that space. Are you lying down or sitting up? Are you on a chair? or maybe a couch, or maybe a bed. Where is the chair, or the couch, or the bed that you're on? Is it connected to the ground? And what is the ground made of? Is it wood, or concrete, or something else? What is the floor connected to? Perhaps it's connected to many things, like a table, or a lamp, or other furniture. Maybe you notice how the floor meets the walls around you. How many walls are there? Are you in a place that's wide and open, or small and confined? And what are those walls connected to? Maybe they're part of a bigger building. Maybe they're connected to the outside. Whatever you notice around you, it doesn't need to be detailed or specific or particularly meaningful. All I want you to do is notice, observe what's around. We'll move away from our sight and onto what we can hear. You can now close your eyes as you turn your attention to putting on your listening ears. There may be a lot of sounds, there may be very few, but try to pick apart what you can hear. Maybe there's a faint sound coming from the distance, maybe a few cars speeding past, Maybe a bit of wind howling or brushing against things nearby. Maybe you hear birds or crickets, rain or thunder, the sound of your own breath, or the creaking of furniture.
Or maybe you just hear my voice. I want you to pay attention to my voice now, isolating it against any other sound you may be hearing. What about my voice stands out to you? Would you label my voice with qualities like masculine or rough or croaky? Would you say my voice is soft? Is it closer to a whisper than a shout? Maybe you find my voice appealing. Maybe you find it unappealing. What about my voice do you like or dislike? There's no need to dwell on any hatred or love for a sensation. Right now, you're just hearing and gently thinking about how you perceive what you hear. Now, I want to direct your attention to things you can feel, the things touching your skin, and the things that your skin may just be feeling, like the sensation of being warm or cold. If you're on a chair, what does that chair feel like on your bottom? Does it feel like pressure? If you're on a bed, does your weight feel like it's distributed evenly? Or do you notice leaning into a specific body part or side? The parts of you leaning against furniture might feel warmer than the parts exposed to the air. Does the warmth feel nice? What else can you notice about your body or the position it's in? Can you feel your breath? First, try to feel it in your nostrils as you inhale. Do you notice the air feeling cold or dry as it enters your head? As you exhale, do you notice your breath feeling warmer than when it went in? Do not try to change your breath. Just let yourself breathe. Do you notice how your diaphragm expands and falls? Without even trying to breathe deeper or to expand your chest more, do you notice how you naturally move with each inhale and exhale? As you breathe now, take one more moment to observe the things you hear, feel, smell, taste, and even see if you feel like opening your eyes again. My voice will return with more instruction after I give you a moment to think and breathe and reassess the sensations you've been feeling.
wonderful. Your dedication to noticing and relaxing your body is admirable. You're taking a big step in your healing journey just by being present, by trying your best to engage with activities like this that are going to help you. You may be here because you are stressed or feeling disconnected, but I think you're doing a great job moving in a positive direction. It isn't easy, and it will take more than a day, but you can feel grounded, connected, involved, and engaged with yourself, others, and the world around you. I want to take this time to envision a reality where you do feel calm and connected. It's okay if what you envision doesn't come to fruition, and it's okay if it's unrealistic or unplanned or not thought out in detail. All I want you to do is imagine what your day might look like if you were less stressed, less overwhelmed, less pressured. I want you to picture what it feels like to be connected with yourself, others, and the world. Maybe you carry less tension in your body, your shoulders can relax, and your back doesn't feel as stiff. Your chest is more expanded, your posture is taller. You can walk through the world with confidence in yourself unashamed and unafraid to be seen. Maybe you engage more thoroughly in conversation. You don't get stuck in your head so much. Maybe this version of you is less self-critical. Maybe this version of you feels able to let things go easier. What else do you imagine you would feel without certain qualities holding you back? As you picture this, don't focus on what you lack now, what you feel incapable of now. Just focus on that image, the person you wish to become. Now come back and take a deep breath. When you exhale, see if you can let out an audible sigh. Realize that you can get closer to that feeling. It can become a reality. It may take time and effort to get there, but you can feel calmer. You can feel more connected. Each day you can become a little more skilled at grounding yourself, coming back to reality. And as you become more skilled, it feels like less work and more like a habit. And by the end of it all, you can feel proud and renewed and refreshed in a body and mind that feels more like your own. And you can say you worked for it, which is the most rewarding part of it all. You may not be there yet, and that's okay, because life is always a journey and not a destination. 
for now, you can just refocus on your breath, how it feels in your nostrils, and how it feels in your diaphragm. You can harness your breathing to relax and ground yourself, which is wonderful news because you can always take a moment to breathe, no matter where you are and when you are. Let's take a moment to practice that now. Follow my words as I tell you when to inhale and exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, soaking up all of the worries, negativity, and bad energy in the room. And exhale, blowing those worries and negativity out far away from you. And inhale again. And exhale. And inhale all of your anxiety and tension. And exhale, releasing as much of it as you can. Inhale deeply and slowly. And exhale calmly and smoothly. And one last time, inhale breathing in all the reasons you felt like meditating today. And exhale, letting go of all of your worries and stress. We'll now come back into reality, making sure to move as slowly out of this meditation as possible. Start by wiggling your toes just a little bit and very slowly. You can roll your ankles, move them up and down and side to side. Now do the same, but this time wiggle your fingers. Then bend and roll your wrists slowly and calmly and without force. You can continue to slowly, slightly shift and move body parts, noticing weight moving. And once you feel like your muscles are a little more awake, you can take a stretch as if you were waking up in the morning. Extend your spine, lifting your arms as needed to deepen the stretch. You can now open your eyes and take in the light and your surroundings. Notice how you come back to the same place you entered the meditation in and understand that you are safe even as you come out of a deeply relaxed state. You are okay. You did great. And you can always come back to this meditation or another if you feel stressed, alone, or disconnected again. Take a moment to thank yourself for participating in this meditation. 
it's important that you take this time for yourself. And I want to thank you personally for joining me today and allowing me to be your guide. Have a truly splendid day.